squad welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog thank you so much for tuning in my name is Zimbali Maseko if you're new do press the subscribe button so that you are part of the precious squad so guys as you can see by the title of this video today I'm talking about everything finances I am not even like I'm not even qualified as to be a financial advisor I'm not trying to be one I'm not gonna be one I'm just gonna share you guys my experiences right so I think the most uh, question I or what I'm actually perceived as is having a lot of money and uh, this is something I was discussing with Orado a few weeks ago uh, we're actually privileged you know we are privileged we are at the point where we are comfortable right with our finances we're comfortable with ourselves we're comfortable with our living space we're comfortable with all the things we've uh we have and we are grateful for having all those things and actually affording to get all these things right the reason i decided to do this video is because I've been having a lot of I've been discuss I've been having a lot of discussions with some of my mates, right? Where we talk about finances, and it's either they're like, "Oh, I can't afford. Uh, I need to get this done at my place or at home uh, before I move out. I want to move out and all those things, right?" And I have learned a few things which have, have actually led me to where i am right now right uh one i feel like as young people we put so much pressure on ourselves you know and we always want to compete if i can say that we always want to compete with whoever you know or compete with the society uh i'm in an apartment i live in an apartment so i want to rush to get all these expensive things and brands you know just because I'm an influencer something like that you know and honestly the, what I've learned is a baby girl baby boy do you at your own pace there is nothing um, fulfilling as being at your own pace and doing it for yourself that's another thing you need to do it for yourself not for anyone else because as soon as you do it for someone else that's when everything actually falls apart right for example I've had um, a friend of mine who has a kid and was telling me Uti, she still lives at home she was telling me that she wants to do so many other things but she doesn't have money and i was just like okay if you don't mind me asking how much do you get paid and she told me and i was like okay cool it's it's it's, it's a it's a lot of money i mean it's not a lot but it's a lot you know so then i asked i then asked her what is your like do you even have a budget you know do you budget how do you budget and what how much you spend spend on certain things baby girl told me how much she spent and then i think at the end of the month with all the other expenses she is left with like three point something and i asked her what do you do with that money she said i spend it i do my hair i do my nails i do my lashes guys uh -uh. no 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 we're not growing any younger this is the time we actually have to be building our own legacies right so now if you're going to spend thirty thousand plus every month on hair nails lashes and fun i don't know i don't know and you're not even saving and worst part you even have a kid Woo! <laughs> that was okay you even have a kid you know so it, it didn't make sense to me it didn't make sense to me so then i asked her what what's her plan you know she was like no i want to fix my room uh she obviously sleeps outside uh in the back room it's like i want to fix my room i want to fix at home before i move out this and that right so and then i had another conversation with another friend of mine who also has a kid and her when when she told me her salary right i was like okay it's very it's like it's not a lot of money like at all right but there's certain things you can cut right so uh her child goes to a very expensive school and they live further away from the school so she spends a lot of money on school fees and transport and she uh she lives at her own place 
and she also wants to fix obviously a few things uh, at the place right then i said to her you need to like consider like what's a priority there's so many good schools close to where she lives by right she can literally remove the kid to that uh, uh theme to one of those best schools right they spark there's curio there's uh there's a lot of schools good schools guys which are out there we just need to actually research and see what fits our pocket you know don't do it because oh uh my friend takes her kid to the school or this no 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 no. there's really good school st matthew's private secondary school uh st matthew's school is very good guys i went to st matthew's i don't know like, it's very good i don't know now but I have a friend of mine and his uh, kid goes to St. Matthew's. It's a it's a good school, you know. But you also look at the distance. How much uh, will you, would you spend on transport and all those things. So then I asked her the same thing. But now one thing I realized is her expenses are more than what she gets paid. So she also gets commission every other month. But obviously commission fluctuates. But now her expenses are more than her basic salary which does not make sense to me you know and that's when i was like baby girl cut on certain things you know cut on certain things i'm glad she does not pay dstv guys dstv you can go argue with your grandparents dstv is a waste of money dstv is a waste of money you pay plus minus a thousand rand to watch a few channels and those channels they repeat all these movies and whatnot guys it is a waste of money rather invest on show mags on invest in a smart tv where you can get show mags you can get netflix i know you're you gonna argue and say wi-fi but in that thousand rand you can literally get all those things except the smart tv obviously but you can literally pay your wi-fi and everyone can be connected at home you can all watch uh all these things uh what's this the show max the netflix the hulu all these other apps you know which you can actually watch on your smart tv with the wi-fi you're connecting to your phone to your laptop to your ipad to your tablet and five more people or whatever you know i feel like we honestly need to prioritize i honestly feel like i was it took me time to actually get here and i'm not actually judging anyone who is not budgeting or whatnot but one thing which happened with orato and i a few weeks ago uh so when we moved in here we realized oh, it's okay we only have each other right and we really don't have medical insurance uh but we did tap into in, uh getting to actually see what's more convenient for us and affordable for us you know in terms of medical insurance and in the process of doing that guess what baby girl got sick like she got sick and we were like Anna, <laughs> luckily we had cash flow um so we, were, we could afford to go to the doctor and get meds but now we actually thought about it Guti. had we not had the cash flow what was going to happen like what was going to happen you know and then so then we all and it's actually decided because like every month with all the money we actually contribute towards the apartment we're gonna leave some for emergencies while we still search for medical aid insurance right uh which we we can both uh benefit from so yes guys if you're moving in uh so with the other friend of mine who lives at home and wants to fix so many other things who spends 3k on fun i i, I gave an, an example of how we do things not at though so when we knew that we we're moving in we had we have we still have a, a, a diary right where we wrote down all the things we wanted and needed right and then we ticked all the things we would need the bed the fridge microwave um actually those were the three things we needed right everything else were wants oh and cleaning supplies groceries and all those things all the other things were wants so then we actually wrote down okay we're giving ourselves so many months to actually get the apartment fully furnished and with everything we want and need right and we wrote we were realistic about it we're like okay first month we're gonna get a bed and whatever depending on how much we contribute to that month we're gonna get a bed 
the following month we're just gonna get a fridge the following month we're gonna get uh, a microwave with small utensils the following month we're gonna get uh, what is more important another bed or uh, um, um, what's this or a washing machine laundry machine or a couch a TV stand coffee table and all those things yes there are months where for example we bought our coffee table way back and we're supposed to get it like the, the, that that's like the last thing we're supposed to get but because it was on sale that's another thing all the things we bought were literally on sale because it was on sale we went and we bought it guys we bought it we went and we bought it i think our coffee table cost us if not 500 less than a thousand rand it's a glass coffee table like less than a thousand five six at most i think it was 800 if it even went that far our tv stand all these things that like literally someone asked me why did you guys buy a tv stand because a TV is the last thing guys gonna buy. It was like for like it was on sale, and because we are planning to get a TV at a later stage, but if it's on sale, we gotta get it. It's something we're still gonna buy. You know, we're still gonna need at eventually when we get a TV. So unlike Ogutsis come and say we're gonna buy all these big appliances all at once, it didn't. It was not realistic and it was not logical for us. And I think that's one thing i actually wanted to share with you guys that when you draft your own budget make sure it's realistic for you it fits your needs i do i draft my own budget aside besides orad i do my personal budget because we don't get paid the same amount of money and we don't have the same expenses i love shopping i love going out more than orato orato will love love splurging but not as much as i do Mina, that brings comfort to me. So, like, when I'm stressed out, I want to be able to go out and go have a drink with my friends. I want to be able to go get a sweater. You know, I want to go, you know, all those things. So, it's such things where, which actually have made me realize, Uti, the importance of budgeting. Like, budgeting is really, really important. Guys, I have been following my budget uh, at least for uh, the past two three months i've been following my budget and the reason i do that i do my budget i was telling my, these friends of mine uh i do my budget three times a month if not four i literally always do my budget so before i get paid the week before i get paid a few days before i get paid i do my budget and i calculate it's okay these are my debit orders this is how much i need to contribute at home this is how much i'm gonna spend on gas this is how much i'm gonna spend on my hair and nails so i try to make all those things um fixed you know like my hair is always fixed unless i will want to do like braids obviously then uh to spend on the hair extensions that's gonna be more you know uh but my hair is always fixed my nails fluctuate but it's not more than i i try to not make it more than a certain amount of money and thank goodness i actually get my all these things i <laughs> they're very affordable guys like my nail technician does not charge an arm and a leg like she's very affordable so you know like i don't have nails now yeah because of lockdown but there's certain things where i sit down and i'm like do i really need to have nails you know do i really need to have my hair done if i can still maintain it like this you know all those things do i need to go get that sweater can i is, is, is it a need to go get g a pair of jeans that cost 600 rand if i can k get a pair of jeans that cost four or three hundred rand or even less yeah if yeah you know so i just want to say it's important to budget guys build your legacy no matter how much or how little you get paid it's hard to follow your budget ask me i know it is hard but it is a need and trust me when i calculated how much i would have in a certain uh period i was happy with it i was happy with it so now it's up to me to actually say will i follow my budget and be able to spend the um to save this much money every month money whereby i know would see no matter how stranded i am i'm not gonna touch it unless obviously it's between life and death yeah sure but like i'm not gonna touch it i'm craving for something i don't have money i don't have that money i don't have it you know so all these things are things you need to consider for yourself guys do things for yourself 
at your own pace do not do it for anyone else there's no rush honestly there is no rush just be you do you boo boo and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any other addition additional comments to actually share with us please do leave them down below in the comment section we would actually love to hear how you do it and we are we're growing together guys we are young young adults growing together trying to make the best living out of ourselves you know and building our legacies so yeah i just hope you guys enjoyed this video and you'll be you'll share it with your people and they'll also enjoy it so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a video you guys stay blessed i love you so much and i'll see you on my next video ciao